Hey guys, it's Shy. Welcome if you are new, and if you're not, hey boo. So today we have a Sephora haul. So I do have two boxes with me here today, but I did place a second Sephora order, of course. Um, let me know if you guys want to see that on the channel, or I can just do a quick unboxing on my TikTok. Um, but yes, I'm going to go ahead and open this box. There was only one item in that box, and I hate that Sephora will literally send one item in a huge-ass box, but it's fine. So the item that was in the box was the Fenty Beauty. This is the Fenty Icon Velvet Lipstick, and this is in the shade Bread Winner. And this is what the packaging looks like. It's literally so cute. And the shade is a brown. I've been seeing that brown and red lip combo using the Fenty um, Matte Velvet Lipsticks. And I wanted to try it out. This box is where all the good stuff is. So while we are speaking about Fenty Beauty, I did pick up another Fenty Icon Velvet Lipstick, but I had to get a nude shade, okay? So I picked up the shade C Sweetheart, and C Sweetheart is just going to be a beautiful pinky mauve color. I didn't want anything like too purpley like Riri. The next item I picked out because my girl Gigi, okay, Glam by Gigi, she literally has influenced me to get this next product. I have seen her use it since last year, and that is going to be the Milk Makeup Mattifying Primer. So I've never tried any of the Milk Makeup products. Um, you guys know I am loyal to my One Size Secure the Blur Primer. I wanted to just try this out. Summer is coming and it's just really hot here in Texas. So I wanted to try something different. This is the Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer and it says that it's lightweight. 90% natural water cream primer that locks on makeup, blurs pores, and controls shine. It's infused with niacinamide and bakuchi oil, I don't know, to help minimize the appearance of pores over time. So I definitely need that. I have huge pores, so I'm looking forward to trying this primer. Next is a skincare item and I picked up the Innisfree, this is what it looks like. This is the Innisfree Pore Cleansing Clay Mask with Super Volcanic Clusters. It's a wash off creamy clay mask formulated with the absorbent Jeju Super Volcanic Clusters that gently exfoliates and helps minimize the look of pores. So as you guys can tell, the theme is going to be to minimize the pores. I am just trying to get my skin to look as flawless as possible. I've never tried anything from this brand, but it seemed very interesting. It is a, um, I believe it's a Korean skincare and it was pretty affordable for Sephora. And sticking with skincare, I of course had to get the Inky List. This is the Caffeine Eye Cream. It's a lightweight cream containing caffeine and antioxidant derived from coffee that helps reduce puffiness, the appearance of dark circles, and helps prevent the skin from impact of free radicals. So you could use this morning and night, and you can also refrigerate it 30 minutes before um, using it underneath the eyes to help with puffiness. Um, I really do like these eye creams. Um, this is good for all eyes, and it's gonna also reduce the appearance of tired eyes. And I am a mom, okay, and I don't always get the best sleep. And sometimes I skip out on the eye cream. So some days my dark circles look heavier than normal. So I just had to re-up on this baby. And speaking of re-ups, I picked up the Sephora Lash Glue. 
This is in the shade Clear, my boo Tatanisha Sankar. She put me on to this and it's the Sephora brand so you get 30% off. So of course I had to add her to the cart. Normally I grab two but I was like let me just grab one for now. I of course had to pick up a one size product. So this is the one size turn up the base versatile powder foundation. I picked up the shade dark one golden as you guys know or maybe if you're new you don't know but I do have two shades of this. I have a brightening under eye powder in medium five and then I have dark four which is a little bit deep for me but it works perfectly in the summer but I just wanted to have one that's perfect for year round so I had to pick up one that's closer to my skin tone and this is what dark one golden looks like I don't know if she's looking a little light I don't know about this shade um I think it should be fine but yeah I'll definitely test this out um, because foundation powders they do go on a little bit darker than what you see so yeah I'm gonna give this a try I also picked up two of these face cleansers this is the Innisfree pore clearing facial foam with volcanic clusters this is a deep cleansing foam formulated with Jeju Volcanic Clusters, AHA and BHA that helps absorb excess sebum and clears the pores. So I got one for me and one for Bay because I can't just have my skin looking good and his not looking good as well. So I got two. Hopefully these cleansers work really well. They were very affordable surprisingly. You do get five points. 07 fluid ounces um, you get 150 milliliters and I believe that these were like $18 normally you get eight ounces but those are gonna run you about um, 36 depending on the brand I of course had to pick up the Sephora daily brush cleaner this is comparable to the cinema secrets brush cleaner this isn't going to stain your brushes and it dries really fast that way you can just do a you know quick brush cleanse without doing a deep cleanse with the soap and water um so i had to pick this up and it is sephora collection so you are getting that 30 percent off and in this haul i got mostly skincare so i was really interested in this next product and that is going to be the Paula's Choice okay I've never tried anything from this brand but this is the Paula's Choice Pore Normalizing Cleanser it's for blemish prone skin it dissolves pore clogging oil makeup and impurities it's a foaming gel and it rinses clean without drying the skin so we love that and it does have salicylic acid in it which we love for oily skin now I usually don't get too many breakouts but you know like I said summer is coming I'm gonna be hot so I need the skin to you know stay nice and clear so hopefully I really like this cleanser as well this next product has been hyped okay this has been hyped it's been sold out it's been going in and out of stock and thank god i was able to get my hands on it my boo pr firecracker got the chance to like try it out and i was on the phone with him and he sprayed this on his face and he said it blurred his skin so i was like oh yes so that is going to be the milk makeup pore eclipse mattifying setting spray it's literally all black i mean who could go wrong with that and this setting spray is a lightweight matte setting spray made with niacinamide and lentil extract to lock on makeup control shine 
and blur the pores for a soft focus finish. So I'm definitely trying to be out here looking like a walking filter. Anything that's going to blur my pores, give it to me, okay? I am extremely oily. I do have PCOS, so your girl is very oily, okay? Year round, all day. This is also a vegan product and it's going to last you about a year. Look at how beautiful this bottle is. It's literally so sleek, so sexy. I'm very excited to try this product out. The next product is going to be a lipstick. Okay, look at how cute this packaging is. Okay, this is the Sephora Collection lip lacquer i picked up a nude shade of course and the packaging was really cute this is kind of what the color looks like this is not going to be a matte finish at all it's going to give you that shiny lip effect and i'm not really a gloss girl so um this is going to be perfect to have on and this is what the shade looks like. It's a beautiful peachy nude color. And last but not least, I had to pick this next product up. It is from House Labs, okay? This is the Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlighter. And this is in the infamous Rose quartz shade okay so honestly these highlighters are so expensive they're literally $40 for this one but the packaging is immaculate and I really do love the formula um I have been on the hunt for a beautiful pink highlighter especially like the pink the baby pink blush with a baby pink you know highlighter to go with it it literally is just i need it in my life um i love all things pink you open her this is what you get literally so stunning so beautiful and i'm excited to wear this oh it looks so beautiful now i did see my boo um, use this in one of her videos when she was testing out house labs I have been stalking the shade on TikTok to see if I would like it and it's so pretty so that pretty much concludes this Sephora haul let me know what you guys think thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys